Hi everyone and welcome back to Cooked and Plated Cooking Channel. Today we're diving into a classic Jamaican dessert, sweet potato pudding. It's rich, flavorful, and the perfect treat for any occasion. So let's get started. Step 1. Start by peeling and washing your sweet potatoes. Make sure to remove all the skin and any imperfections. Then give them a good rinse to get them ready for blending. Step 2. Cut the peeled sweet potatoes into smaller pieces. Then place them into a blender and blend until smooth. You might want to do this in two or more batches. This will ensure a creamy texture for your pudding. I was able to blend mine in two batches, that way there's no lumps and everything is smooth. Step 3. This is where we add our liquid ingredients to the batter. You can find the ingredients in the description box or on the screen. For the rum, you can use rain every white rum but I had Appleton this time and that's what I added. So any white rum will do. You want to make sure that you're always stirring until everything is well combined. Step 4. Now you're going to mix your dry ingredients. Your sugar, flour, salt, baking powder, cinnamon, nutmeg. Mix them until it's all evenly distributed. Thank you. 
Step five, you're gonna gradually fold the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. You wanna pour a little bit at a time, that way you don't create any lumps into the batter. So at first I was using a spatula to fold everything in and then I switched over to a whisk to make sure that there aren't any lumps in there and make sure we have a smooth batter. Step six, you're gonna pour your batter into a nine inch pan. You can use butter to grease it. I use some spray butter and you wanna bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. And then we're gonna take it out to pour a custard on top. And then it will bake again for another 30 minutes. Now making the custard is pretty simple. You're using the same ingredients, all the liquid ingredients to put in with the coconut milk. This is what we're gonna pour on top after an hour of baking. This will have it looking nice and smooth and glistening. So this is a very important step. So this is what our pudding looks like after one hour of baking. And we're just gonna pour that custard that we just made on top. And you wanna make sure that it's spread evenly. This way everything is coated properly and that we have that sticky top. So after another 30 minutes, this is what our pudding looks like. You have to make sure that you allow it to cool. It could take a couple hours, maybe two to three hours for it to cool. And then you wanna make sure you get a butter knife to go around the edges to ease it away from the pan so it's easier to get out the pan. So I don't have a perfect way to get this out of the pan. This is just my technique. Um, if you have another technique, you can comment below and let me know how you get yours out the pan. But I just pretty much flip it over onto a plate and then fit the plate with the pudding onto the dish that I'm going to have the pudding on. You'll see. <laughs> And here it is, our beautiful Jamaican sweet potato pudding. Perfectly baked and smelling amazing. This is actually my favorite part. Cutting a slice and tasting it for the first time freshly baked. The perfect slice with the perfect balance of spices and sweetness. 
I hope you enjoy making and eating this as much as I do. Comment below and let me know what you'd like for me to make next. Thank you for watching the Cooked and Plated Cooking channel. I hope you enjoyed making this delicious Jamaican sweet potato pudding. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.